Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm getting back into vampire mode, so... You know, even vampires have love and loss, so that's what I'm going to hit, hit you with first, and then you'll see that the vampire has recovered. Thoughts of you are never fire, always shades of blue. Like a letter opener, you slide easily between the fold and adhered edges into the pauses and the back and forth of the evening's shallow conversation, making your presence felt. In awkward silences, your absence, unacknowledged though well known, and just as when the wrist is flicked and the envelope of gathered years together is ripped open, spilling all, that still none dare to say aloud out into every open space between your absence and your presence, crowding out what, crowding out what seemingly superfluous banalities and token words are spoken, reducing us to silence once again. That you are, that you yourself are absent shouts out very loud in silence and echoes through these now unneeded rooms and empty lonely hallways. I gaze at every wall you painted blue. All those shades of blue, a state, a style for fate to imitate, foreshadowing this heart. I'm losing you. Teal and turquoise, heart and hurt and pain, cerulean sadness, sight and sorrow, aqua tinted loneliness accompany me as I wander aimlessly into and through each quiet, unlit room, empty, silent as the tomb. How could you or I have known that life and love would end so soon, spilling out so many shades of blue and unmelodic melody, a tuneless tune? Remembering loss. In a country of another day and time and of another year or so far away from here and now, I first saw you. You were young and you will ever be slight and thin and pale and golden tresses. Diana, my queen of night, my goddess of the moon. I was silent, awed and dumbstruck, never dreaming when I left my room that evening that I would gaze on your sweet face and slender form. So like La Belladonna, like lost love found, like fall of night. Now I recall walking barefoot in wet grass, in soft summer rain, talking soon enough of autumn plans, our hands by just two fingers held, we swing and turn away, first two and then away, our bodies sway. You stop and swing one leg and foot around and softly nudge my calf with wet, bare toes. To Heron's cross, the early evening sky, above the path we travel, it was a time our lives stretched out before us, endless days and nights to share and savor. Once more, <clears throat> we are the same side of the sun, a dozen revolutions of the moon, the seasons come, full round again, and it is all too soon, so much too soon. September's breezes bring me round to you again, remembering loss, has it been but, shunt, but one short year? And not a lifetime since we parted, like fallen autumn leaves, not to the tree, you will not be returned to me. Thank you. <coughs> This is the second and last um, the vampire has recovered. Uh, if you're out there tonight, I don't know if you are begging. This is for you. I know why you are here tonight. You think you know why you are here tonight, but I know better. That which you most desperately want, I know. And what you have kept hidden, unacknowledged, 
Hope, like an unfledged songbird, flutters in that well-protected nest that is your heart. Hope that in this harried, hurried world there must be something more you know not what. Something lacking, dreamed but lost on waking. An undiscovered country, unexplored, and your ache inside is unrelieved. I know, I know. I know your deepest fears and fiercest longings. The inner torment that conflicts your soul and frustrates so your physical desires. Your mother's voice inside you screams in fear and guiltily you close and lock away desires unfulfilled another day. How sad, how sad. Bewildered eyes betray the sexual force that underlies the surface calm of your still waters, the tension unrelieved of coiled springs unsprung. I know, I know that you would gladly give yourself in wanton sweet surrender, exploding, wasted, quivering and spent, but you have fears most intimate of loss, of love, and of abandonment. Hope disappointed far too many times, so you have reached an impasse on life's journey where you have stopped, refusing to go on. I know. I know that all ends tonight, right here, right now. Only say yes. Say yes to life, to love, to ecstasy, and give to me your heart and bear your soul side tonight after this in night's embrace I will be